Hey, what's up guys, Faisal here with another video on this channel, Billion Dollar High Tech. If you watched our previous video about core technology, you might be curious about the hyper trading. So let's break it down and get to the core. Hypertrading is a technology which converts one physical core into two logical cores and allows the operating system to schedule two threads and processes simultaneously. It first appeared in Pentium 4 desktop CPUs and Xeon server processors in 2002. Hypertrading is a cool feature. It helps to share the load when possible. In hypertrading, a single CPU core is represented to operating system as two cores. The operating system schedules two tasks on two logical cores as it would be on two physical cores in a multiprocessor system. The single physical CPU core will switch between the tasks on two logical cores as it sees fit. For example, let's assume a pizza oven as a processor and the guy who makes pizza as a process or thread. If pizza oven bakes the pizza faster than the next pizza reaches to it, the pizza oven will sit and do nothing. Wait, what if we hire another pizza maker? While one of the pizza maker is busy, the other will prepare and load pizza oven. In technical terms, while one thread is being processed, the other virtual core will queued and vice versa. This is a very good example of hyperthreading. So in nutshell, hyperthreading allows two threads to execute almost the same time on one core. They are not really executing at the same time since they are being interleaved onto the same core. They cannot be two threads using the same function unit of the core during a single clock cycle. What hyperthreading does is to make sure the CPU cores has a lot of independent operations to keep it busy. To be more precise, let's talk about the benefits of hyperthreading. On our daily usage basis, like web browsing, word processing, and emails, hyperthreading doesn't have much impact. Computer tasks that have more benefit from hyperthreading, number one, heavy multitasking. One processor will handle the light tasks like antivirus and music playback. The other processor will focus on power running video games. Number two, 3D rendering. Number three, file compression. Number four, the people who do video editing. Overall, the biggest benefit of hyperthreading, it keeps your CPU busy. Let's jump to the conclusion. Hyperthreading is not as same as doubling your physical processor cores. Hyperthreading best applied on operations and applications where multiple tasks can be intelligently scheduled. So there's no idle time on your processor. Hyperthreading is a cool feature. If you like to edit media or you use your computer as a workstation for professional programs like Photoshop or Maya, the hyperthreaded processors are the best suggestion for you. The Urdu version of this video, please click here. If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. The full article of this video, you can find it on our website. The link is given in the description. Please follow us on Instagram and like our page on Facebook. Until then, peace.